Hi, I'm Amanda Madzaki, and I'm the CEO of Good Look Inc. I'm here today to introduce a very special client of ours. His name is Leon. Leon is a very unique client in that he didn't get his procedure originally performed at GLI. He chose a provider based simply on cost. By choosing a discount provider, unfortunately, Leon ended up with a very unnatural looking procedure. The reason I bring this example to you today is to drive home two points. First of all, it's really important to do your research and to pick your SMP provider very, very carefully. This is a procedure that will impact your life that will be on your head and you don't want to trust your appearance to the wrong provider. The second point I want to bring home is that at GLI, we have the ability to fix anything. You will see from Leon's pictures the dramatic improvement that we were able to bring about by our specialized laser processes and our special corrective pigmentation. In the past, I've been very hesitant to show any sort of negative pictures because I know SMP is by far the best result for hair loss sufferers out there. It's the best solution that there is. That said, at this point I'm seeing such an increase in uh, demand for SMP correction services that I think it's really important for people to see not only how important it is to choose properly, but also that there is help available. The reason SMP correction is becoming such a huge thing and why I'm seeing so much need for it is simply because SMP has grown so much in popularity. GLI has been here for a long time. We've done more procedures and have more experience than any other provider. That said, we also have the ability to correct anything. Now, if you are somebody who's received an unsatisfactory SMP result, take a deep breath and give us a call. We can help you. My name is Leon. I, uh, Alex oh, called me up and uh, we had to give me a price and uh, it was kind of too much for me. So I went uh, to look elsewhere. And they uh, will give me a lot cheaper. So I thought it was like, uh, it was getting a good deal. So I went with them. After the project was done, uh, I was okay with it. Then after, day after day, look in the mirrors and stuff. And uh, it was like, well, I didn't like it, didn't like it. And it's like, well, it looks weird, you know. And people started making comments to me. He's like, you know, it's not, uh, looks weird, goofy, you know. So I started looking back and I called back Alex, you know. I said, well, we have to work something out, you know, fix this somehow. 